Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the AI powered neural network. So let's simply explore this technology and actually see how this would influence you know creators so why we're doing this is because the ability of the ai to generate fake visuals is not yet mainstream knowledge and there are certain websites that have been available for now which you might want to take a look at now for example the site called this person does not exist.com offers a quick and persuasive education to how you can work with this the site creator philip wang a software engineer at uber upon the time of creation did some very extensive research and also released this alongside you know the chief designers and creators at nvidia now what this has actually made is it has given everyone an endless means of creating portraits so in case this is also something that you're looking for you can definitely find some very interesting results when you go over to this website how this is done you may ask there is an algorithm that is being trained with a huge data set of real images and these real images are being run through a neural network known as the generative adversarial network which we've talked about before on the channel so in case you want to see some of the things like that link is going to be in the description for you to check that now what this actually does is it generates new examples over and over as you simply refresh the website so if you go over to the website and consistently refresh this website it gives you an endless stream of images and just simply generates this thing from images and data that has been fed to this now for those wondering the underlying framework which is powering sites like this was originally made by a researcher known as ian goodfellow although nvidia has actually gotten their own algorithm take to this and they've gone through and named this the style gang the style gang from nvidia has been made as open source and for the most part this was kind of trained more for generating human face of course there is a style gun too which we're also going to take a glimpse at but the whole idea is for this to simply mimic the source and find a way to regenerate something totally different from what has been fed into it and honestly with a technology like this there is a very impressive result that you get although most of them are not exactly spot on but for the most part you get some pretty cool result but now the question is what does this mean to you know designers models and also copyright photographers well for starters this isn't going to save a lot of jobs as most people with exposures like this would want to save a couple of bucks and use the incredible ai generated images as first and foremost these images are mostly copyright free and basically ties the user to nothing so why would you want to spend an x amount of money purchasing stock footage when you can simply use an ai generated image and also have the same results meanwhile with you know additional pre-existing free apps stock websites web designers graphic designers and other forms of designers will definitely have an incredible time searching for more alternatives than sticking with what they can only get on paid stock websites on the other hand this doesn't seem to be a very good deal for you know models or portrait stock photographers as of course you might not necessarily see what the impending doom looks like right now but over time once a lot of people start catching up with things like this it is definitely going to be devastating now for the regular day-to-day -day photographer or someone who is already tied to a firm this might actually be nothing now considering the fact that there is a present global pandemic and you can't actually get a job done unless you move out to take pictures then you might already start considering another means of income or maybe another career altogether and just when you actually think that this isn't enough there comes another unique website which is literally going to make you question the reason why you even have a camera in your hand in the first place so generated.photos is a website with a huge mouth huge promises and what is even more worrying and satisfying at the same time as awkward as it might be is that they deliver on their claim for the purposes of those who don't know generated photo is another amazing ai system site just like this person does not exist.com but the generated photos here are created from scratch by the ai system and all the images can be used for any purpose without worrying for copyright distribution infringement you know claims and royalties this is where it even becomes way crazy with over a hundred thousand faces which is being generated and showcased for on-demand media this site simply offers you 
a very simple way of getting professional looking pictures for characters that never exist now they don't just give you that as if you go over to the website you can just simply go over to their gallery and pick any image without copyright issues and use them for your website your designs and stuff and what's even more interesting is if you go over to the generated photos and you take a look at the photos which are by the time of recording it has actually gone all the way from 100,000 to almost 200,000 you can choose to you know filter these things and how you can filter these things is both by background and this is going to happen automatically you can also choose to filter them by you know natural photos beautified photos if this is also something that you're going for and you can also play with the sexuality or even the ethnicity and this would give you a huge variety of things that you can have access to now with a dedicated in-house data set which was totally produced by them and this simply means that there is no scraping no pulling from you know social media handles scraping from stock sites it simply gives you an unprecedented looking image with the quality of production that you get here and you would also find out that the face lighting and you know the entire image lighting looks very very promising now some of the very cool features you find on images just like the ones we're scrolling through is consistent lighting consistent sizing the range of the angles and position the range of facial expression and there is a wide variety of ethnicity all ages and all face shapes seems to be included while this was being made now with technology advancing to this point like this we have also started seeing some glimpses of this being involved in several things as well so things like animes and you know ui design as this is also something that's been tested on sketch right now so in case you're working with sketch there is an add-on that you can actually use to get some pretty cool ai generated images i'm also going to put a link in the description so that you can check this one out for yourself now you can also proceed to playing with another amazing tool which i have seen that is making some sort of waves on the internet and this is at breeder so at breeder is a tool that you can use by default to you know sort of manipulate your art and also create something even way different from what you have and this is also making use of a neural network as it definitely makes your life not just easier but if you're trying or if you're an intending artist you might find this one a very good way to go as this would give you way more references that you can actually study from so if you're looking for you know different styles that you're trying to work with or maybe you're just simply looking for a particular genre or a particular uh, ethnicity that you might want to work with this makes sense another thing that is associated with this is you can of course proceed to upload your own pictures and you can use these pictures to create some sort of art companies like nvidia and so on are working hard to see how this technology would progress for the future so we've seen a couple of deep fake and this in turn is also seen in some productions and also in some products now if you take a look at the style gun 2 which i'm going to put link in the description so that you can actually do a very quick read up you would notice that this is getting increasingly better at the way the technology is developing and now the question is does this encourage fraudulent activities and how do we assert authenticity and originality when we see images like this furthermore the chances of predicting if any of these images which we see online is true or not is also something that will raise a lot of questions in the future and of course we've seen a couple of you know teasers of tools that adobe is working on that is being dedicated to find malicious and also edited photos but these things are still on the wrap and it's only a matter of time if this would be able to solve the impending problem that is surely going to arise very soon and most importantly just like every advancement in technology this is not only solving a problem but surely it is creating one and at the long run these websites and tools are more or less very polite with the introduction of things that they can offer but without a doubt there is definitely going to be a rude awakening and this will come in later furthermore we've also seen the advancement of this ai technology with tools like the gigapixel that we just covered sometime last week and on the other hand we've also seen some sort of implementation from facebook and also some universities where you can simply take a photo and convert this to 3d objects but then will this liberate a lot of people from their job or will this create more job 
And with concerns like this, it is only a matter of time for people to begin to worry if AI for sure is going to do the predictable which would gradually relieve people of their means of livelihood. And of course it's safe to say that if you're a photographer, if you're a 3D artist, if you're definitely someone within the creative field, AI is gradually getting in and it just makes a lot of sense to be in the knowing so that you would know how to position yourself and also restructure your own personal plan for your career. So. With all of these things talked about, I would like to know what you guys think about all of the cool AI tools that we've talked about today. I'm putting links in the description where you can check out some deepfake and also where you can test out these tools that we've talked about in this video. And of course, if you like this video or maybe you just learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.